Hi everyone, I am your friend Shadab Imam and we are continuing our lecture series on operations research. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe the channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon. So today we are starting the special cases which arises in the simplex method. So today we will start with the infeasible solution. We will see how we obtain uh, infeasible solution in the simplex method. So let us start the problem. So our problem has given as 3 maximize z is equals to 3x1 plus x2 subject to constraints 3 2x1 plus x2 less than equal to 2 3x1 plus 4x2 greater than equal to 12 and x1 x2 greater than equal to 0. So now as we have done earlier we will convert this uh, form into standard form and before doing so we must ensure that the right hand side values of the constraint must be non negative this is maxima z equals to 3 x1 plus 2 x2 subject to constraints 2 x1 plus x2 this is less than equal to sign that means we will add one slack variable here s1 is equals to 2. In the second country it is 3x1 plus 4x2 greater than equal to sign that means we will subtract a variable which is called surplus variable and we will introduce one more variable which is known as artificial variable this is equal to 12 and x1 comma x2 comma s1 comma s2 comma a1 should be greater than or equal to 0. So this will take its effect on objective function 0 s1 plus 0 s2 minus of m a1. Okay. So we have already seen how slack variable, surplus variable and artificial variables are introduced. So we will quickly move on to the first matrix. So let us introduce this. First we will have objective function. This will be x1, x2, s1, s2 and a1. The objective function coefficients are 3, 2, 0, 0, minus m. Okay. Similarly, in the first constraint, if x1 and x2 are 0, s1 will take the value 2, that means s1 is eligible to enter here, and 0 is the objective function coefficient of s1. Similarly, in the second constraint, s2 is ineligible, as we have seen in the previous videos also. That means if we put x1 equal to 0, x2 equal to 0 and s2 equal to 0, we will have a1 equal to 12 and then a1 becomes eligible to enter into the basis column and it has minus m as the objective function coefficient. Now let us write the constraints 2, 1, 1, 0, 0 equals to 2. Similarly here 3, 4, 0, minus 1, 1 equal to 12. Now let us calculate the value of Cj minus Zj as S1 and A1 are basic variables they will carry 0 value and here this will be 3m plus 3, 3m plus Similarly, here it is 4m plus 2. 4m plus 2. This will be minus of minus minus m it is. And the value of z I am putting a dash because artificial variable is appearing in the matrix. So now as we can see that among these values the maximum positive value is 4m plus 2. So we will take this as our key column. This will be our key column that means 
variable x2 will enter the basis and to find out the leaving variable we will be calculating the value of theta which is right hand side value divided by corresponding key column element so this will be 2 divided by 1 is 2 similarly 12 divided by 4 is 3 12 by 4 is 3 and now here we can select the minimum positive value so among these two values 2 is the minimum positive value and this will become our pivot row now as it is understood by here that variable x2 will enter the basis column and variable x2 will enter the basis column and replace variable s1 so let us write x2 has replaced s1 and a2 is remain uh, sorry a1 is remain intact so this will be 2 this will be minus m okay and we have our pivot element as this is our pivot element so we need to make the pivot element as 1 and because this is already 1 I will exactly write the equation here 2 1 1 0 0 and 2 similarly I need to make this as 0 so what I'll do is row 2 minus of 4 times new row 1 so 3 minus 4 into 2 8 this will be 3 minus 8 is minus 5 okay now 4 minus 4 is 0 0 minus 4 is minus 4 1 1 minus okay minus 1 minus of 0 is minus 1 1 minus 0 is 1 12 minus 4 into 2 8 12 minus 8 is 4 so now we have calculated the values now to check the optimality we need to calculate the value of cj minus zj so i am writing the values for basic variables that is x2 and a1 as 0 and here it is plus 5 m plus 4 3 plus 4 minus 4 so this will be minus 5 m minus 4 okay similarly this is plus 4 m this is 2 so this will be minus 4 m minus 2 this will be minus of m minus minus plus m 0 minus of m is minus m and the value of z i have put a dash now it is interesting to see that all the cj minus zj values here are either 0 or negative that means according to this we have obtained an optimal solution but as we can see that in the final matrix or in the final solution the artificial variable exists which we does not want because artificial variable is not a part of problem so because of this we can say that the value attained by artificial variable suppose this is the value 4 that means it will have some value a1 equal to 4 and m is a very large positive value that affect our objective function so because it has obtained a positive value here the solution we got here is of infeasible type that means this is infeasible solution or we can say that if the problem has no solution or this is also known as pseudo optimal because it looks like optimal because all the values in the cj minus zj column uh, cj minus zj row 
are either zero or negative but actually our problem is not optimal because of the appearance of artificial variable in the previous videos when we have seen the introduction of artificial variable we have understood that there are three cases arise whenever we introduce an artificial variable the first condition was that the article artificial variable a does not appear in the final solution so when the artificial variable does not appear in the final solution we will obtain a unique solution okay and if artificial variable appear in the final solution but has a right hand side value as zero so if this four will have zero value then we can say that our solution can be an optimal feasible solution because a1 will take value 0 so this term here in the objective function will become 0 that is the possibility when we have artificial variable in our final solution and we have the optimal feasible solution and the third case is when artificial variable appears in the final matrix and attain any positive value so here we can see that artificial variable a1 attains a positive value of 4 and this indicates that our problem is infeasible that means there is no feasible zone or the point or the problem does not have a feasible region proper feasible region which can be followed by all the constraints. So in the coming lectures we are going to discuss more special cases that arises in the simplex problem. Stay with us, please share the lecture, have a nice day, thank you.